Hey, I'm Will Bartlett, and in today's video tutorial brought to you by Storyblocks, I'm going to show you how to create a paint on scribble effect inside After Effects. This is a really cool effect that has become very popular in the last few years. A lot of music videos tend to use this effect, and the end result can be really interesting and add a whole other element to your videos. All right, so that's what we'll be creating. It's a really fun effect to create. It's a very cool technique, and it can add a lot of interest to certain parts to emphasize certain things that are happening in your video clips. The video clip we're going to be using today is a stock clip that I found on storyblocks.com. They make it really easy to find exactly what you're looking for. All right, with the clip downloaded from storyblocks.com, let's bring it into our After Effects project by dragging it into our project window. Then we'll drag it down into the composition button. This will create a composition with the same length as our source footage. Then down here in the timeline, let's select the footage, go up to edit, duplicate, or you can use the shortcut. We'll hit enter and type light scribble effect or whatever you'd like to call it. Then on the bottom layer, let's hit enter and call this BG for background. This will give us some organization and help be able to tell which layer is which. Next, let's make sure that our brushes and paint panels are open. You can open them by going to window, brushes and paint. Then let's click on the layer light scribble effect, double click it. That will open it up as a layer up here. Then let's select the brush tool. Then on the brushes panel, let's make sure that the size is set to off. Then we'll set the diameter to a thickness that makes sense for our scene. So let's zoom in a bit, hold spacebar to reposition the frame. And since for this effect, I want to outline around the skateboard, we'll use the thickness of the skateboard. So this looks to be about the same thickness and that's about a diameter of six pixels. Then in the paint panel, let's set the duration to single frame. That way, if we click and drag and then go to the next frames, it's only on the very first frame and that's what we want. So let's undo. If we go to constant and make a line, you'll see that it happens on every single frame. So we are going for the single frame. From there, we can start drawing on every single frame and this is where the fun starts to happen. Let's scrub through our footage and figure out where our first frame will be where we start our drawing. So I think right when the tail of the board hits the ground and from here on this frame, we will start drawing. And the idea is to just trace the part of the image that you'd like to have animate with this glow light effect. And if you make a mistake like that, you can always just go to edit undo. Okay, so that's one frame done. As you can see, it's going to take some time to draw over each frame. So I'm only going to show you a few frames and then I'll speed up the process. So now that we're done this frame, let's hit page down on our keyboard or we can go to the timeline and go to our next frame and we will continue the process. One thing to note is it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it'll be a better animation if each one is slightly different. And I'm just animating here with a computer mouse, but if you have a tablet or something with a digital pen, that might be a little easier for you. Okay, we're done that frame. Let's go to the next one. And when we get to the part of the skateboard that's called the trucks, it doesn't make sense, similar to the shoe, to draw over it because the truck is in front from our perspective of the back of the skateboard. So we'll end the line there and pick up the line animation after that. Then to the next frame. And as you can see, there's not really much to this effect. It just takes quite a while to do, but the results are really great. Okay, now we've gone through and completed all of the painting for the entire rotation of the skateboard. Now, if we wanted to add a little more animation to this, we can make it fly into the screen and into this spot. So let's go back to the frame just before our first painted frame. We'll zoom in again. And then we can start painting and over a few frames, we can make it look like it's flying into the screen and then onto the board. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's have a preview of this. And then let's make it animate off screen. Now that we're done painting, let's select the layer and make sure that paint on transparent is on. Then when we go back to our composition, you can see what the effect is doing. Now let's select our light scribble effect layer. 
type in glow in our effects and presets window, and then drag down glow onto this layer, the light scribble effect. We'll go into the effect controls panel and increase the glow intensity. We'll change glow colors to A and B. Then in color A, we'll select a brighter color. And in color B, we'll select a darker color. From there, we can alter some of the settings up here until we get something that we like. Let's check out the final result of our video. So it animates in, grows onto the board, follows it while it does the rotation. When the skateboarder lands the trick, it then disappears. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video tutorial brought to you by Storyblocks. My name is Will Bartlett and I hope you learned something in this After Effects tutorial teaching you how to paint onto footage. We'll see you next time.